Welcome back to more Final Fantasy Explorers, everybody. So last time it was part one of the series, and we basically got introduced to the whole fighting element of this game. Basically how combat works in the game, and as I told you in the last episode, it's actually very different than the previous Final Fantasy games that I've let's played. I guess than a quote, typical Final Fantasy. Anyway, for this mission here, we have to... Wait, what the hell? How do I... No, no, it's not the right button, dude. Um... Wait. That's not what I was doing. That is not what I was doing. I'm very confused here. One sec. Didn't I accept a mission last episode? I feel like I did, but then I saved the game after and it didn't actually register. I think in this game if you save, you actually lose the quest that you accepted. I could have sworn I accepted a mission in the last episode, people. I could have sworn. I swear that was... Oh my god. Hey. Main quest. See, didn't I accept it? I thought I accepted and then I saved and then I quit the game and now I'm recording episode 2 and I think I lost my acceptance for the quest. That's very interesting. Maybe I could be very off and I didn't actually accept and I could be very, very wrong about this, but I could have sworn. Anyway, we have to defeat 10 goblins. So that's going to be really simple actually. So right now the only skill I actually have is boost. So that's not really good, honestly. Uh, because, I mean, let's see. See, like, my physical attack power increases, as you can see. Um, but it's not, like, an actual attacking skill, you know? So that's kind of a problem. But uh, whatever, you know, I'll get more skills in time. I can actually buy more right now if I stun my CP, the crystal, you know, thing. But I kind of don't want to. Okay, I need to find some more goblins now. So I'm going to be going... This way. To kill this guy here. There we go. I just need one more now, and it's actually... Well, that's not a goblin, but um, I'll still fight it, I mean, sure. There's nothing bad about doing this. It's also usually nice to, you know, kill different enemies, because sometimes they do actually give you different loot. Although well, that time it was a tan hide, which I don't think is any different than most other drops are at the moment. Anyway, I'm just going to return now. So I did the quest, as you can see. Quest complete. Clear time, 1.13. Proceed. Yeah. Of course. Of course proceed. But yeah, um, you're pretty much starting to get the flow of the game, you know, I mean, it's part two and you're kind of seeing the combat. Like I was saying, the game does suffer from the repetitiveness, usually, generally speaking, you know. But aside from that, it's actually a pretty well-made hey game. Alright, um, main quest. Okay. I can do this one. I have to defeat five toads. Sure, I'll do that. And um, there's one more place that I have to go to. Well, I don't have to go to, but I want to over here to exclamation mark. Kubo. I heard the rumors, Kubo. Congratulations on passing your test, Kubo. I know. Why? Why don't you take this to commemorate your success, Kubo? It's bound to come in handy, Kubo. Phoenix Pinion. Sweet. Thank you. Kubo. So this guy will actually give you more items the more and more you play, like the more missions you do. Pretty nice. Pretty nifty. You know, to just keep going back and getting some useful items. Um, I will go here. As it says, you can learn abilities here by spending CP. Okay. It's pretty self-explanatory, honestly, so let's do this. Let's learn some abilities. So, you're able to actually see... Wait, how do you see this again? Hold on. Not learned, learned... White magic, black magic, question mark, knuckle skills, sword skills. 
Let's see, physical attack, strike with four punches, a combo counters ramps up damage if you land blows without interruption. Physical attack, enter a stance that lets you nullify a blow and counter, you can inflict stop and ensures your next hit is critical. Perform a back step that restores the last four seconds of AP you have used. Ooh, pretty convenient. Uh, I'm gonna use... I'm trying to think here. I like these bows, you know, these two. I'm gonna get Explosive Fist. Oh, look, Drill Spin. Physical Attack, Leap into the Air and Hurdle. Feet. Oh, Feet first, okay. Yeah, they're pretty uh, nifty skills here, and that's... Hmm. I'm gonna get Drill Spin. I have Counter. And then this one, but... Whatever. Alright, so do I actually have to equip them? I don't think so. I think it's automatic, right? No, it's not. Okay, I'm stupid. Uh, so, let's see. L... LY. Yeah, let's do Explosive Fist, and then LA. Let's do Drill Spin. So, as you can see, I can't do Moonlight Slash, because that is not actually the right... Uh, class. I believe that's for uh, warriors or knights, whatever, you know? Swordsmen, basically. Okay, here we go. So our next mission is to go onto the... What is it called? Let me look at the quest info. How do I see more... No. I thought that was an actual, like... Yeah, here we go. Okay. A shortage of healing herbs has a... Uh, okay, I see, I see, but it's overrun with toads. Uh, yes. Okay. On leggy plains. Or leggy? Okay. So, to get over there, I believe it's... I actually don't know where, but I do have to actually go past this place. And... That's... Somewhere over here, I think. Because there are essentially three different places to go to from this place, like, it branches off. Do like this. Oh, damn! He actually- Dude! There you go, the leggy plains. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Is this an enemy? It's chokeable, but I don't wanna- I don't wanna actually attack it, you know? All right, here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that damage. You see that? That craziness? That skill there, man. Silver liquid. Blue liquid. Yes, you know, I don't want to do that. That's that's a chocobo. I, I don't think I can fight them chocobos yet, you know? Okay. Oh my god. I don't know what that is. It looks uh, kind of creepy, though. Well, it actually wasn't all that bad. There we go. What I got? I don't know what I just got. I mean, I'm getting items and stuff, but that's cool. All right, so that's the end of the mission. As you can see, I defeated the five toads and some useful loot, some useful gill. Some useful CP, some useful everything. So the next mission is going to be extremely simple. I mean, it's just gathering loot from what I remember. Oh look, this person. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. A red dragon. Main quest updated. Sweet. Explorer. All right. Okay, so I got a new quest, but I'm not gonna do it yet. I'm gonna do this other one first. Got 30 minutes for that one. The Hebat Foothills. Like he stabbed, like he planes all over, and then Hebat Foothills. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna accept this one. 
So this one, keep getting items, is it's a very basic quest. All you must do is literally kill enemies and get their loot or find the loot that can also be obtained without killing enemies because there is some loot like that. Let me actually show you what I mean. Stuff like this. See? Or you can just kill enemies the easy way like this, you know, if you want. Either way is fine. Doesn't really matter. There's some loot, as you can see. Gonna keep it oh, wrong gun. Okay, so you're dead. This skill kills everything in one shot, as of now at least. Oh, unless you miss your next couple attacks, because you know, that can happen. Shit. Okay. What's next? I want some more loot, man. And over there. Still got 11 left to obtain. That should be easy. I'm gonna use boost. See, I don't know how much of an increase it actually is. It doesn't seem like it's all that much by using that skill, but you never know. You never know. It could help sometimes, you know? In a pinch. Okay, so I pretty much killed everything over here on this side. So I need to make a run over to the other side. Oh, so what is that geyser there? Do you see that geyser? Looks like something. Oh, It was actually stuff. Thank you, got a sharp fang. What's next, man? What is next? Really? Are there really no enemies here? Okay, there's this guy. Sure. Let's fight him. And there we go. That's it. I believe this over here is... Let me take a look. Never mind. Alright, so mission over. Mission completely over. Got some good stuff. Proceed. Yes, all done. All done. Damn save screens. Okay. The next mission is going to be a more difficult one. It's not. It's still not too difficult, but it is more difficult to say the least. So, this one, the Hebat Foothills. We must fight the Red Dragon. Um, I'm also just going to go ahead and save, you know, because I've already done a couple missions, so I might as well save. It's saving, man. It does take a while in this game. Alright, let's go. Embark. So the Hebat foothills are either north or east because we know that the uh, the hills are on the left. Or no, the leggy, wait. So leggy step, leggy hills, I think. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I can see. I can do this. So, that's the step. Left. Is it, Yeah, okay, so it's right. It must be right. Because from what I remember, the foothills are actually uh, kind of like lava base. It looks like a little lava room or something. I'm just going to go. And hopefully it's that. Keep but foothills. Let's do this. Alright, so this place is going to be a little bit harder, but only a little bit harder. The enemies themselves aren't really that much buffed up. At least these initial ones. Ooh, man, look at that. He just did some damage to me, though. Rusted Iron Scrap. So I'm not going to worry too much about fighting the enemies here. My goal is actually to make it all the way around. So what you want to do here is climb up this place. 
and you want to run all the way around to the other side. It's actually quite a run. Because the dragon is, such, uh, is uh, up at the very, very top. You can have a pretty good view at the bottom over there. See that? And that's pretty cool to see. But it's not going to take you to the dragon, unfortunately. You got to run around. Follow large? What's large? Oh, I can already spot the dragon from here? Wow. That's crazy. Alright, I'm going to run past all you goblins because I don't care about you all. Also, the music here is epic. It is so epic. Alright, so by this point, because I'm getting close to the dragon, I recommend killing the enemies on the way because if um, they give you a little chase, you might actually be outnumbered a little bit. You don't want that to happen. There might be a little more, a few more before I get there. Yeah, there's one right there, see? I'm gonna wait for my AP to actually refill though. Although I am targeted now. Hopefully not the dragon. Oh my god, it totally is a dragon. Well, I have to, um... Alright, so that dragon, do you see that? But actually, it's not even... Hmm. It's interesting. In terms of HP, as you can see, it's, um... It's not incredibly... Like, crazy powerful, you know? Oh, here's some loot. I want the loot, man! Give me the loot! Okay, turn the fucking camera, seriously? Oh no. Oh no! That did, that did damage. That, that did damage. Okay, attack power increase. Do some more damage. There we go. Thank God it missed. Get this loot, sure. Might as well. I'm gonna let my AP refill for a little bit here. Okay. Refill. It's refilling very slowly. Ooh, he actually got me there though. But yeah, see, it's basically like an introductory boss battle because as you can see, it's not really that crazy. Attack! Attack the dragon! Okay, I'm just gonna attack normally for now. Yeah, because attacking normally actually fills your AP faster. I totally forgot about that part. Getting some crits there too, as you can see. Use boost again. Use that. Use all the good skills. Use everything. Oh, Okay, it's almost dead, as you can see. Almost dead. There we go. Red Dragon, defeated, and it gives me some loot. What is this? I don't know what that was. I couldn't tell. But yeah, see, that was like the first, I guess, boss of the game. Very, very simple, you know. Nothing crazy at all. Oh my god, I need to, like, get more comfortable here. This is ridiculous. Like, what the heck? Subquest updated. Explorer! So you took on the royal request and slay the red dragon. Claire was thrilled. Libertas could have been in real, in real trouble there. I'm glad you took care of it as quickly as you did. Say, that reminds me, we have a traveling merchant in town. He ought to be over by the plateau. He seems to have some rare goods for sale. Maybe you'd like to take a little peek. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I can purchase rare items. With, okay, I'll take a look at that in a little bit then. Sure. I can also do some more quests. Let's do what's available now. Okay. Subquests, huh? So yeah, the introduction to subquests. Basically, they're you know not related to the main story, but uh, they they give you stuff. Reach a hundred resonance. Cool. Deliver iron scraps. Do I already have enough? Deliver potions. I, okay. See, so, like here's the thing. I can actually accept this. So you can accept subquests, you know, unlike main quests, you can accept a lot. I, is there even a limit to this? Probably not. Okay, so if it says done, it means you already have it. If it says active, it means you're currently in progress. Uh, but what I'm going to do is deliver these iron scraps. Report re subquest as complete. Okay, I'm come over here, deliver the potion. And there you go, quest complete, see? And you get your reward. Pretty useful. Deliver some iron scraps. You get a thousand more CP. Deliver the metal knuckles. 
and I get a thousand more CP. And then the next one is the Resonance, which I actually haven't done yet, so I, I will keep that in mind. But as far as main quests go, uh, defeat any 20 monsters, use one Crystal Surge. Yeah, sure, why not? I can do that. The next one is the Legendary Ore, which I guess I'll take a look at later. Who cares? Alrighty. Time to go. Embark. So how am I in terms of time? Let me take a look at my little clock here. Okay, that's actually perfect, because I'm at 21 minutes, which is not a lot. Boy, oh, it actually kind of is. Alright, so what, you, what I want to do here, but I'm sure you know already, is to use skills, because I want to increase that resonance to eventually do a crystal surge. This will make me achieve the sub-quest and the main quest at the same time. So it's pretty convenient to be doing this right now. I can also probably just use Drill Spin. I didn't actually kill though. Wow. Okay, so just be fast. Uh, enemies? Enemies? Hello? Enemies? Where are you, dude? There's literally no enemies around here. This is crazy. Yeah, I can also use that one to uh, give me a nice little boost in resonance there. I'm not gonna worry about picking up stuff. Because I need to kill enemies fast. That's my main goal right now. Okay. Use that. I'm close to reaching 100 resonance. God damn it though, my AP is dwindling. Enemies. Oh god, I freaking hate this. You gotta run around. Like, there's, there's no, there's actually no freaking button to it. Oh my god. Resonance is dwindling. And so is my freaking, oh no. So is my AP though. I think what I have to do here, it's not gonna be really... I have to actually do this. I have to start attacking normally, you know? Oh my god. Okay, I need to run all the way back, but unfortunately it's gonna use... No, I, I can't risk that. There, it's going up fast, it's going up fast, good. Keep going up. I know I'm risking my resonance going down very fast right now, but... I have to do it. Also, I don't know why they put like almost no enemies in the step this time. Because sometimes it's a little luck based, like the spawn of enemies from what I've seen. And sometimes you just get really bad spawns, you know? Like you totally do. So what can you do, right? Okay, I'm up to 89 now. Let's run over here, next one. Okay. There we go. I reached 100 resonance, so the subquest is complete. But I do have to actually keep attacking enemies. Oh. There we go. I'm floating. I'm floating. Okay, I need some more enemies, man. Where are the enemies, dude? There's literally no enemies around here this time. Okay, I need to go to somewhere else then, because there's nothing. Like, there is seriously nothing. Okay, I'm not gonna fight chocobos. I'm gonna fight all of you, though. Oh, look! It's these, uh, the bat things. I don't know what they're called. Just killing a bunch of enemies here. I don't know what the hell's going on. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the loot here. Because these are different enemies and the uh, things might be unique, you know? Okay, two enemies left to kill. Um, what's next? Is all of this... Oh my god, there's a fly in my room. What the hell? Shit. I hate flies. I hate house flies. They're so annoying. A lot of good loot here. Wow. Rope scrap. Never heard of that. Hmm. 
I don't want to fight chocobos. I like, that looks mean. Crystal Surge unlocked? Tins of Shores? A new place. I do not know what to expect here. Oh god. There we go. I'll get your stuff, sure. I need to fight one more enemy. You. Got you. Any loot here to pick up? This? Yeah, I'll take this, sure. I don't know what that is because I'm telling you, man, when you... Oh, there we go, okay. Like, when you get that message that pops up, at first you can't actually tell what that is because the game is blocking you from doing that, you know? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put, press start. Getting some more really good rewards. Look at all that loot! That is amazing. Alright, I'm almost out of time, but I think I can do one more mission, right? Possibly? Possibly. I don't really know. I'm sure I can. I'm keeping all these videos around 30 minutes, in case you're wondering. Okay, let's go ahead and accept the next thing. And again, I'll be taking a look at that uh, the new cellar over there on the east side of the map, probably in the next episode. Oh. Hardened bones. Sure. Okay. I have no hardened bones, though. Okay, go to report subquest as complete. Go ahead and do that one. Yep. And I get a nice reward of 1,000 CP. Um, now I'm going to go to main quest and accept this very last one. Defeat one Adamantus. It's in Tins of Shores, actually. Wow. As far as heart and bones go, I'm not even entirely sure if I'm going to get that. You know, maybe I should save that for next time, though, because in terms of time, I'm at, uh, yeah, 28 minutes. It's not that much time left. So I guess instead what I'll do, instead of going to the Adamantus in this episode, I'm going to come over here and show off this person. Yeah. A migrant Mughal merchant. Going where the wind blows, where my fancies take me. I am the migrant Mughal merchant Maguro, Kupo. I deal in treasures I find in my journeys. Go on. Buy them now. What? Okay, sure. What you got? You got potions for 500. What a ripoff. Ether. Phoenix down. Stamina drink. Mana drink. Hmm. Yeah, so this guy's gonna be, um... Wait. Five up. No. No. What you got for me? Nothing? Okay. Yeah, let me go back. Because I want to see this next shop. Okay. Items. No, they're the same price. Okay, I wasn't entirely sure. I thought they were like 200 here for some reason. Weapons, still only the basic stuff. As you can see, the introductory weapon for each of these jobs at the moment. And then armor. Same stuff. As you can see. I don't think we're the hat yet. That's quite interesting, that nothing yet. And if you go to like the workshop, you know, you can upgrade like I was saying before. For example, I can go to weapon, metal knuckles. So to upgrade it, maximum HP is going to be plus 50. So let's say I do that, you know, catalyst and a goblin. Well, I mean, I, okay. These cost a lot, though. Anti-elate? What the heck? Basically, um, items, you know, depends. Every single item in the game can be used to upgrade a weapon, but different quantities. For example, these require 10 of this. This requires 6 of this. The CP cost is also very different depending on the item. Um, shark thing? Hmm... Don't really care. A lot of them are just accuracy increases. Or this maximum HP, I can do that too, but I don't really want to. These two are expensive. Alright, I'm gonna end it here though. In the next episode, we're gonna be going after the Adamantis. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye bye, everyone. Have a great and fantastic day.